What's up my ponyos, Andy with Andy Vlogs, excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, we're going to be reviewing the iSteady X2 by the folks at Hohem. Now, I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited and, and a little bit nervous here to go over this because of my history with these stabilizers. I've not really found one that I like, especially for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So, with that said, we're going to be doing an unboxing, showing you guys here all the different features, connecting, all that good stuff. So, uh, definitely buckle up. Before we get into that though, I do want to let you know that uh, I do have a relationship with Hohem. I have uh, reviewed some of their products in the past and this was provided to me complimentary from them. They did send me this free sample so you know where that is. Uh, this is not a sponsored video though uh, and so you know that my, um, you know, my review is honest and bias free. With that said, down below in the link to the description will be the product pricing availability if you guys are interested in checking that out. Uh, otherwise, let's jump right into this. What's new with this iteration of the iSteady product series is that it comes with a remote control. That's one of the biggest standout features. You can set it down, put it on a tripod, and you can control the device from this remote. Included is their 4.0 anti-shake algorithm system 3-axis stabilization, which is nice because it, it creates smooth footage up to 320 degrees pan, tilt, and roll. The remote allows you to start, stop recording, photo capture, change directions, control the gimbal up to 33 feet away. The device has face tracking, object tracking, and gesture control built into the app, so we'll be showing you that. A couple of built-in presets, moment mode, cinematic video templates, auto rotation interpretation, dolly zoom, that kind of stuff. The device is supposed to last up to 10 hours and even powers the device if you connect it. Just so you guys know, it holds up 100 to 280 gram phones iPhone 13 Pro Maxes are typically about 250 grams, so there should be no issue. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, break this down, show you how to unlock it and uh, set it up before we start putting the iPhone in. First step here, uh, I probably shouldn't have peeled that off. Uh, whoops. You're going to twist it off here. It's supposed to use that, you know, it's supposed to click right into there and lock, uh, and then you twist it to unlock it. Uh, now we've got one of the access, one of the axes uh, unlocked. You're next going to go ahead and unscrew this for the the next axes. It's going to lock it shut and then you lock it into place. That's going to give you your depth. Nextly, this is kind of the orientation that you're going to want to have the phone in uh, once you're ready to go. Okay, for the most part, I've got it. Uh, I've got it up. Um, as you can see here, when it clamps, it, it doesn't have enough thickness here to grab the iPhone, so I am a little bit nervous having it in a case, so I think I'm going to take the case off, which is a little disheartening. I'd like to be able to have a case uh, that fits like a moment lens, which would be nice. With the case off here, you can see it does fit really well. So let's go ahead and turn it on for the first time. Uh, the power button's right here. You press and hold, and it's going to turn it on. Before you can even get this thing to start recognizing it, you actually have to go into the app, so it, it does require the app in order for you to activate it. Okay, so I was completely wrong. You're going to want to download the Hohem Pro. This is for the iSteady X, X2, and V2. Some of the other stuff are for like your action cams. Okay, now that we've downloaded it, you're going to open it up. It's successfully connected. Now we're going to activate it. Oh, now it's doing its thing. This is not a very friendly way to do this. So in order to pair the remote with the gimbal, Please press the function button of the gimbal seven times. Okay. Function button seven times. Once the gimbal's turned on, the Bluetooth light will flash alternately yellow and green. During the pairing process, the pairing can be done in three seconds after the gimbal Bluetooth light is flashing. If the remote control is paired in three seconds, click the function button. Hey, there it goes. Now it's paired. Wow. Okay, so I don't know how I did that, but now I've got the Bluetooth uh, remote paired here and I can control it here. I can even hit record on the regular phone. It won't let me. Great. That's cool. This little thing is tiny and cute. I like it. Okay, guys, we're here on location with the Hohem iSteady uh, X2, uh, showing you how to use this here. It's in its little package. I think it's really nice and compact. Let's go and take it out. Everything inside here fits. I've charged it. I've even got the tripod here mounted, which is really, really nice. 
Now, one thing here to note that if you do have a case on it, make sure that it's uh, obviously under the payload limit. Unfortunately, I was uh, unable to use one of their third-party lenses here that can attach on the moment lens. Uh, it is a little too heavy to be able to sport it here. It, it can't necessarily hold it. I can go back and forth, left and right. It, it actually holds onto it pretty good. I've changed the setting here so it's on follow, tilt up and down to get your tilt. Panning is really, really nice. And then you can see that the roll has been locked. This is generally the best angle that you want it. The control stick, the analog stick is allowing me to uh, control it to get those fine changes. And then on the side here, you can zoom in and out in the app. Okay, now you can see from my perspective here, the screen as I pan, as I tilt, it's got a little bit harder tilt. I can zoom in. It only uses the one X, unfortunately though. But that, I mean, that looks pretty good. I'm able to zoom in pretty far, zoom out. If you double click the picture shot, it changes to video and I can push it once to start recording. Now you can see that I'm recording. A little demonstration here. If you push the shutter button once, it'll uh, start capture the video. We'll walk around the camera. You guys can see, you can get close up. It auto focus is pretty good. You're still able to get that nice depth of field because of the sensor is really nice. Uh, but walking here, it is it is much more stable than uh, than you know it normally is just by hand holding it. I like how I can uh, tilt, I can pan, and it holds it very straight. It is uh, really nice and calibrated. I like how that looks. Push it again, you can stop the video just like that. Now, if I push that uh, shutter button twice, it'll change from video to photo. And then I can start taking photos here if I want. So you can see I can zoom in, take a shot of the camera, take a shot of my trees, a little bit of that flare, back it up, get a shot of my willow tree. It looks great. I can turn gesture on. We've got the gesture control on like that. Okay, so just to show you here, it's uh, locked onto my face now. We've got that face AI recognition. As I move, the camera itself moves. You can follow along. I think that's really, really fun. If you want, you can switch it to the other side, put the gesture on, and we will lock on. As you can see, it's following my face as I go around, up and down. That's really cool to be able to do that selfie mode. If you wanna switch the cameras here, you just push the shutter button three times, one, two, three, and then I'll switch from selfie to the front facing camera. Okay, lastly, you can see here that I've got the remote. I can use the remote to move uh, the, the pan if I want. There we go. And then if I want to take a picture, there we go, it's taking a picture. If I double click it, it'll change the video. Now we're recording video. I can change the tilt and pan if I want. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, now I've got the gesture control here. It is following my face. And you can see it's actually uh, really good. I'm gonna hit record. Now it's recording, following me here as I move around my yard. You guys can see how that clearly is doing it right there in camera. That's very, very impressive. Very, very impressive. I'm gonna hit record. Now it's recording, following me here as I move around my yard. You guys can see how that clearly is doing it right there in camera. That's very, very impressive. Very, very impressive. Lastly here, the power button, if you push it once, it will uh, change from landscape to portrait. If you push it again, obviously it'll go back to landscape. Push it twice, push it twice. It'll send you back to where you want it. This is really impressive, guys. I'm actually uh, pretty excited about this. I'm gonna be using this now moving forward. It's impressive. Okay, lastly here, I wanted to show you that uh, the shutter button is um, accessible here on the native app. So if you wanted to go and take video and pictures from the actual Apple camera app you can you unfortunately don't have all of the different features where you can change the modes but you can use the shutter button to start and stop video or take pictures i mean that is so buttery smooth i love it can't argue with that all right my pungios well that about does it here hopefully that uh, helped give you guys a perspective of what this product is capable of doing um although you know it, it does have a lot of positive qualities here a few things that are a little bit annoying i'm unable to connect it with any third party 
like microphones or maybe like a third party lens from the folks at small rig or moment because they're just too heavy the payload on this is definitely 280 which means that even a case is probably a bad idea to connect to it the app does have its drawbacks where it only uh, has access to one of the cameras you can't zoom in on the 3x telephoto lens you only have that 1x wide you can't even go into the ultra wide and so i think they need to update their app to have a few more of those features and especially i think the biggest part is that little remote uh, if anything that little remote is really a game changer the problem is is you have to have it connected to the steady cam i'd like to be able to just connect it straight to my phone and that'd be nice to have just a little shutter button Nonetheless, I wasn't able to figure that out. With that said, guys, if this is something that you like and something that I, I would actually recommend, please consider down below in the links in the description, checking that out for the product pricing availability. This is a good product. I think this would definitely up your, uh, your uh, vlogging game. Uh, with that said, guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. My name is Andy with Andy Vlogs, signing out.